Well, the input is the journey. The conversation is in every piece. It's 30 years of collaborating. Our styles of painting and thinking about art were completely different worlds. As we were in art school and, and hungry, we were very interested in each other's kind of different worlds. I saw some basic work in polymer done by a friend of mine and bought some and brought it back to David and said, uh, why don't we start a business making this kind of work? David and I trained as painters in art school and not jewelers and not in clay. I never imagined we'd be making jewelry. At that time, we didn't really have any idea of what jewelry was or should be or meant. It's just really what we know about color and pattern. The two of us had all those years of color conversation. Color is now a thing for us that is naturally there. The color is a voice, and I think that's part of how we got to be who we are. Sometimes I'm imitating things that he's done and vice versa. I think it's at this point very personal between David and myself. We both have a voice, we both bring to the work, and a touch and a history. The trick always is because artists have such egos. We have our egos. We have our voice. We want to be heard in a really healthy collaboration. It's going to enhance. We do get into arguments and we do fight quite a bit, but there's a security behind that because I feel like we can always work out our problems. The work is better when we struggle with it and come up with a solution that neither one of us would come up with individually.